Hello everyone, welcome to another bullet journal setup video. This setup is for November and these are the sticker books that I had used to decorate the pages. I'm still going with a the fall theme with some florals here and there because I don't want it to be too similar to the month of October setup which was a mix of fall and Halloween stickers. For the cover page, I used a bunch of fall color leaf stickers to surround the November letters. After that, I drew a few lines just to make it look less bare. Here where I live, the leaves are falling from the trees in these exact colors. It's hard to believe that the year is almost over, how time flies when you least expect it. The next page is my goals and task page. Just like the previous months, here is where I list the goals I'll be working on and then the random task that I want to accomplish in this month. In a couple of weeks, it will be Thanksgiving and I feel like getting some sort of pie. Pumpkin and pecan pies are my favorite. I also have some leftover pumpkin bread mix in the pantry. Maybe I should bake something out of it. We don't really have any plans for Thanksgiving dinner. It's not something that we normally celebrate. Maybe if we are feeling festive, we'll roast the turkey. Speaking of turkey, in my neighborhood, we sometimes get a flock of turkeys strolling about. I wonder if I will see them again this time of the year. The page felt a little empty, so I took a few heart-shaped stickers to add to the page. Next page is my workout log. I haven't been working out as much or as hard as I would like, but I've started to take walks again. And during my walks, I take the trash picker and a plastic bag with me so that I can pick up trash. I've noticed a lot of trash that's been blown into bushes or thrown by irresponsible people, and I figured, why not pick up trash while I walk? Sometimes, I bring my daughter along with me, and she would be the one picking up the trash while I hold the bag open for her. I get a little self-conscious sometimes when I pick up trash because my neighbours can see me. One even came up to me to ask if I was a volunteer. I think one should make some effort to clean up their neighbourhood. To get myself to feel a little less self-conscious, I wear a hat and put on my earbuds while listening to music. And as I walk, I try not to meet people's eyes. After doing this a couple of times, the feeling of self-consciousness goes away and I start to enjoy the process. There's something about using the trash picker to pick up trash with precision that's rather calming and I get some satisfaction seeing the bag full and the streets clean. There's still a lot of streets to walk through but I have time. Next page is where I track my reading and shopping expenses. Blue wasn't actually the colour I wanted to pick, but I ran out the letters I needed for the orange ones and so here we are with the blue lettering. But I make it work anyways. For decoration, I'm using a combination of Halloween and fall stickers. I'm participating in the Goodreads Reading Challenge and my goal is to read 60 books this year. At this time, I've read 53. I wonder if I'm going to make it seeing as we are already in the month of November. 
The titles I'm currently reading or listening to are Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, The Backup Plan by Joe Shalvis, Judgment Road by Christine Fian, and Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I also have three books on hold that's coming my way, so we'll see if I can finish reading them in time to make it for this goal. The next page is where I list down all the TV shows and movies I'm watching during the month. At this moment, I'm binge watching Supernatural again for the I don't know how many times it is already. It started back in October when I was in the mood to watch horror movies and shows. I had watched The Fall of the House of Usher, Us, The Exorcist, and then finally I started watching Supernatural. Supernatural is always going to be one of my favorite fantasy horror TV shows to watch. Sometimes I like to re-watch The Witcher, Stranger Things, and American Horror Stories. I think after this I will try for the latest season of American Horror Stories. If not that, then maybe Black Mirror. To fill in the white space, I took more of the blue background flower stickers to stick it on there. It did take up some writing space and so I had to move my columns further down but it's okay. I don't think I will need that much room anyways. The next page is my daughter's page where I track the number of books she's reading, the activities she's taking, any injuries, her mood, and any other noteworthy events. I think this is a great way to gain an overview picture of my daughter's life, and when I'm going to do a flip through of the bullet journal end of this year, I'll be able to see how much she has experienced. As you can see, for this page, I'm going with more of a floral pink theme to match with the lettering choice I picked out. It may be at odds with the rest of the pages, but it's okay. I'm not bothered by the difference, and the only person that's going to look at it every day is me, so I shouldn't limit myself to follow a specific theme. My daughter has been trying a lot of different after-school activities, and one of them is gymnastics. She loves the different workout routines, especially the ones involving the trampoline. She's pretty flexible too more so than I ever was. I have some misgivings about some of the more advanced routines, but if she likes doing them, I'll try not to let my worries stop her. Next page is my social media page. I track all my Instagram and YouTube postings and uploads here. Last month was a bit of a dry spell. I was going through some things and I didn't feel like creating content. Hopefully this month I'm more in the mood. As per usual, I'm splitting the page into half, one for Instagram and the other for YouTube. For Instagram, I have this month tracker where I put an X for every postings I made and for YouTube, I list down the video titles I uploaded. At the bottom is some stats I'm keeping track of to see if there's any growth in terms of followers and subscribers. For decoration, I'm just using some fall leaves and acorns and for the icon, I'm using some Happy Cutie Studio and Coffee Monsters Co. stickers. Next page is my job learning page. When I had filmed this video, the page was mainly intended for what I'll be learning on the job. 
You see, I was offered a job, and I was so happy that my job search was finally over. I was going through the final leg of my background check with only the ed- education portion left to do, when I received devastating news that they had rescinded the job offer to give it to somebody internally. Needless to say, I was upset and depressed. The job had seemed perfect for me, but I understood the urgent situation and taking somebody that was already familiar with the work made a lot of sense for them. The good news is I have another interview lined up for another role with the same company. They still like me and wanted to find a role for me. I'm trying not to get my hopes up and to accept whatever the outcome, but it's hard. It's quite the emotional roller coaster. I just hope I can end this year with some good outcome. Crossing my fingers. Next page is my gratitude page. This page helps me change my negative perspective quite a bit. Even though there were low moments, I try to write something positive and what I'm grateful for each day. I have been pretty diligent about it, and looking back at them reminds me of how much I've gone through and survived. Sometimes when this is not enough, I look to online support groups or uh, books from libraries or articles online for some encouraging words. It may not be the best method like therapy, but I just don't have the finances for that sort of help. For decoration, I'm just going to place a few simple flower stickers in the corner over here. I'm grabbing a couple more to fill in the white space at the top. And then finally at the bottom, I'm going to put in the legend where I color my moods for the day. So I'm putting in three moods instead of just the two like I did in the previous months. So one is happy, one is just meh, and then the other one is not happy. The last page is my highlights page where it's basically a journaling section of anything eventful that has happened during the month. Again, I'm going with a floral themed stickers to decorate at the bottom. I have a small garden at my house. It's a balcony actually where it doesn't get much sun but I still try. So far, my succulents are thriving and they are my favorite because they have not died on me. Right now, as I'm speaking, my orchid that I've had for more than two years is slowly dying due to stem rot. It's the mother plant and after the reporting, the roots had succumbed to rot and the rot had traveled up to the stem. I thought I had stopped it but after trying to experiment with the bag to increase humidity and promote root growth, it sped up the hidden rot instead. And so, I think for real, my mother orchid plant is going to die. At least I still have my keiki. So that's the end of my setup. I'm going to do a quick flip through to show you the pages again. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, do consider subscribing to my channel. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!